In this video, we're gonna see how to upload uh, files that are locally available on your device to the Firebase storage bucket. So I have already created an activity with these widgets right over here. It has four buttons. Uh, each button is to pick up a, a specified file format and I, and I have also um, declared all, all of these buttons, uh, button widgets in my activity class. And all the necessary Firebase modules are also being set up in this project. Uh, um, so now, inside a, inside my on click listener function i'm going to create an object for my intent uh, and then i'm going to set up this intent uh, type uh, to uh, let's see before i'm going to set it set up its type i need to import it to my uh, activity and then i'm going to set up its type as a pdf then i'm going to set its action i'm going to set my intents action to be um, intent dot action get content so this means that i'm going to pick up i'm going to fetch a file from locally from my device the intent dot action get action get content means uh, i'm going to pick uh, a fetch file locally from my device and and next i'm going to need a chooser so i'm going to use intent dot create chooser to create an interface to help the user to uh, pick a file locally from his uh, mobile device and then I'm going to need a local variable called as a PDF. So for that means I'm going to create a val uh, PDF, which is of uh, type integer. I'm, and I'm going to initialize it to zero. Then for all the other uh, file formats, uh, the method is of same type. So I'm going to copy and paste it uh, down below. And uh, so, after, after copying and pasting all these things, I'm going to change a, a file format from PDF to DOCX for document type files and also it's very, very local variable to DOCX so, and then a PDF to uh, music for uh, music files, not music. It's going to be audio for music files and uh, any other audio files in your uh, local uh, device so, and then I'm going to change it. On the title to select audio and i'm going to give a, a local variable called as the audio then from pdf to video format for a, a video file and then select video and its title and its local variable is going to be of type video so after uh, doing all these stuffs i need uh, to declare all these local variables so i'm copying this pasting it again again four times and then changing the value from PDF to DOCX for document PDF to audio for the audio files and PDF to video for these video files. So after doing all these, I need to fetch the files uniform resource identifier address in order to uh, push my file into the storage bucket. So I need to uh, create a function called as activity for result and if my result code is equals equals to result okay if my result is available uh, then i'm gonna create another if statement under this if statement uh, this is going to contain a condition called as request code which is equal to pdf wait, wait a second i've declared it inside the uh, on create method it should, it, it should come under the class not the on create method so i'm copying and pasting uh, all these things and i'm going to create another variable called as the late initiate bar uri which is of type uh, uri this is nothing but which is going to hold the uh, files local address up. so if my request code is equal to equals to pdf i'm going to uh, upload a pdf file uh, into my storage bucket that's the reason i'm going to um, take forward my request code, request code equal to the pdf then i'm going to uh, fetch that uh, data which is which is passed in the form of intent uh, and uh, I'm going to get the value of that data and I'm going to pass its address to my URI variable. Now I'm going to need a value called as URI text, uh, which is in the form of a widget in my main activity. It's a text view, uh, which I have created indeed to display the local address of the file, which I have uh, fetched from my um, phone module locally. So I'm going to set this uh, text views value uh, URI txt dot text equals to URI 
dot to string. Uh, so this indicates uh, uh, the fetched files uh, local address. And then I'm going to create a function called just upload. So private function upload. This private function upload is going to take care of uh, all of these uh, necessary uh, handlings required to upload a file to my Firebase storage bucket. And then I'm going to get and copy these if statements uh, in on RTP result function uh, and convert it into else if for, uh, for different type of file formats like uh, the document one and uh, the audio. And then another else if for uh, my video file. So now I'm going to uh, declare another late initiate variable uh, called as my storage, which is of type Firebase, uh, sorry, not Firebase, storage reference. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna initialize my storage and set its values as five uh, storage dot get instance dot get reference to uh, a child location called as uploads, which is its uh, storage buckets uh, reference. Now I'm gonna need another variable called as a reference, uh, which is going to point to my storage uh, m storage dot child called uh, maybe named as um, what can I name right over here no I don't want a child here all I want is to get no get the files well no I don't need it's file I don't need a child so I'm gonna set my storage dot child to uh, the contents last pack segment and uh, so I'm gonna set uh, my m reference dot put file uh, in order to upload my locally available file to it, the storage bucket uh, using its uh, URI path and then I'm gonna add an attach an or add on success listener to uh, make sure my file has been uploaded properly and if my file has been succeeded in uploading I'm gonna get its uh, URL uniform resource locator uh, uh, using task snapshot dot download URL and I'm gonna make it as an asserted call and uh, I'm gonna declare another widget called as download text uh, uh, whose find view by any soft view and uh, resource dot identification dot download text no it's it's dot which is it's I'm gonna set as uh, a text view and uh, I'm gonna set this text views value to the URL value of our uploaded file which is been available uh, in the storage bucket um, so that's a uh, so that's it I'm going to put all these things under a try catch block. So if any error seems to occur due to any connection failure, uh, we can know uh, uh, the file automatically throws up an exception. So and then I'm going to fix a toast value to indicate the user that of file has been uh, successfully uploaded uh, to a storage bucket and uh, make this toast duration as length long and I'm going to show this toast. And I'm going to need a catch block, which has an uh, exception. And uh, I'm going to set a toast value in order to throw my exception as a message to the user whenever a connection failure occurs uh, while uploading the file to the storage bucket. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to set this toast uh, duration to length long and uh, I'm going to show this toast. So that's it. Our code part has been completed right over here and uh, let's build this app. So our application has been deployed right now and uh, it looks like this uh, once it has been created. And before that, uh, let's navigate to our uh, Firebase console. Under that, go to the storage um, feature, go to the rules tab and make sure to change the rules uh, of our Firebase storage bucket. Uh, 
uh, by default it will be request dot auth not equal to null. You, you gotta change it to equal to equal to null be because we are not creating any authentication right over here. We are just uploading a it straight into the bucket. So at this time I'm gonna upload a video. This is a complex thing uh, to upload. This is of size 1.84 MB and you can see the text view displays the local uh, address of that uh, video content from our device and let's wait till the video gets uploaded so now our video got uploaded into our uh, storage bucket and uh, it dis and you can see it displays the uh, download URL of our uh, video which, which is which has been uploaded to our storage bucket now I'm gonna refresh the page so that we can find our video uh, under the uploads folder in our storage bucket so here's the video and uh, as you can see it's download URL is right over here which I have set it up into this text view right available right over there so this is how you can upload uh, uh, any type of file to your uh, Firebase storage bucket. It's one of the way you can upload storage bucket and it's also the easiest way. So uh, this the code to this project is available in the description right below and the article um, to this project is also the link to the article of this project is also available in the description. So you guys go and check it out. If you have any doubt, leave it in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please share it if you like to share.